Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Life from sunny Florida, uh, wrapping up our vacation here. Uh, we've had a great time. I want to talk to you uh, briefly about uh, some tips on what to do on your vacation to avoid uh, getting way off track with your exercise and eating program. And it's a challenge for sure. If you're in an area where you can't have no access to gyms, or if the gyms are not open because of COVID, then you can pretty much just focus on uh, walking, cardio, or running along the beach if you like to run. Uh, George and I did a lot of walking, trying to get 10,000 steps in every day. We walked right along the beach, which were, which is right out in front of us, as you can see. And that has worked out really well. Uh, Georgia is quite the walker, so it, it was a challenge to keep up with her. But I was able to, for the most part. Uh, resistance training, um, I just kind of put that on hold while I was here. I did go to One Planet Fitness. It was not too far from here, and that's a great gym, but no one was wearing masks in there, and I kind of got paranoid about it, so I didn't spend too much time there. When it comes to eating, that's a real challenge, especially for someone like me that is uh, actually a food addict, a sugar addict. So I tried to, with George's help, tried to pick uh, foods that uh, were low in sugar, low, low carbs. And um, I have a picture of uh, one of my favorite meals, which, uh, uh, which I'll insert into this uh, video. And that worked, out, uh, that worked out pretty well. We were also able to go to the grocery store, a Publix down here in Florida. And, uh, and we got some pretty healthy food there that we can eat uh, for snacks and what have you. Uh, for me, I mean, I had really been training really hard for the last several weeks. And for me, it was a, kind of a, a, a neat thing to just be able to relax and not, and, and let my body rest. I've done that in the past, and when I come back, I really attack my exercise program with gusto. And that works out really, really well. Um, that, uh, also, um, there's a tendency for a lot of people to drink way too much alcohol. I quit drinking several years ago, so that was not a, uh, an issue for me. But in the past, it sure has been. And so I, I just, I, I have felt so much better since I quit drinking, but I, and tended to overdo it like I have done a lot of things when I did drink. So um, when, you, when, you, when you go to a restaurant, um, a, a good thing, um, the servings are massive all over the country. When you go to a restaurant, the, the, the amount of food they give you is just almost atrocious. So you can get a container right off the bat and cut all your food in half and put half of it in the container that you take back and put in the refrigerator in your hotel or condo. Uh, and that works really well. And that's what Georgia does and she, she convinced me to, to do that and that works great. And that's about it. Um, we're... Uh, going to go to bed really early tonight, Friday night, and get up really early, 4 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday, and fly back to Charleston, West Virginia. So, I hope you all are able to get on a vacation. It's just so refreshing, um, especially with being pinned up for the last year, really, a year, cooped up in, in, in our house. And... Um, not being able to go places. So until next week, um, uh, you know, keep working on making the, the rest of your life the best part of your life. Thank you very much.